when speed becomes the real danger. In factories, speed is everything. Faster lines mean higher output, bigger profits, and managers smiling at production targets. But hidden beneath that success is a question that nobody wants to ask out loud. What happens when the same high-speed line designed to make you money suddenly becomes a threat to your entire operation? Today, we're diving into a real industry scenario where speed didn't just boost productivity, it magnified a tiny malfunction until it almost shut down an entire facility. Before we continue, if you love real factory breakdowns and behind-the-scenes engineering stories, hit subscribe now. It helps the channel grow and it keeps these investigations going. Imagine a line running at 600 units per minute, sensors flashing like strobe lights, robotic arms cycling so fast you barely see them move. Everything relies on perfect timing, but timing is fragile. And in this story, it broke. The day everything looked perfect until it wasn't. The shift started normally. Operators walked the floor, machines hummed at synchronized rhythms, and screens glowed green across the control room. The output numbers were better than ever. It was one of those rare days where everything seemed too smooth, too stable, almost suspiciously perfect. But in high-speed manufacturing, perfection is often the calm before the storm. A single photo eye sensor on the line had started reacting just a fraction of a second slower than usual. Not enough to trigger an alarm. Not enough to stop the line. But enough to cause the system to misread where products were positioned. One small delay, multiplied by the speed of the line, became the seed of something much bigger. At lower speeds, the floor would have been harmless. At high speed, it was a ticking time bomb. When a fraction of a second becomes a disaster, the gripping arm downstream reached for a product that wasn't actually there. It closed on empty space and reset. By the time it corrected itself, the next product had arrived early. The arm tried to catch up. Two packs collided. The collision created a slight misalignment. That misalignment fed into the next cycle. Soon, the conveyor was pushing products faster than the robotic system could space them. What started as one missed reading had now become a cascade of micro errors, so small individually that no human could see them, but so fast collectively that the line began to choke itself. The operators noticed rejects rising. The weighing system began flashing warnings. The metal detector started false triggering because products were arriving faster than its internal clock could scan and reset. Every machine on the line was doing exactly what it was programmed to do, but the harmony, the rhythm, the timing, everything that kept the line functioning as one coordinated organism was gone. Once timing collapses, everything collapses. The exact moment, the line lost control. The speed never changed. The conveyors kept moving. But the line had entered a state engineers fear most. Chaos at full velocity, packs piled up, rollers strained under excess load, jams formed faster than operators could clear them. And then, as pressure built across multiple sections, a belt finally snapped sideways off its tracking and the entire line screeched to a violent stop. Production halted. Workers froze. Thousands of units sat in limbo. And the scariest part was that nobody knew what the original failure was, only that it all happened too fast to stop. The real cause was hidden months earlier. Everyone assumed the conveyor belt failed. Some blamed the robotic arm. Others blamed operators for reacting too slowly. But the real cause wasn't the belt, the robot, or the staff. Here's the twist. Six months earlier, a technician had replaced the high-frequency sensor with a cheaper alternative. 
It worked flawlessly at normal speeds, but the moment production targets increased, the cheaper sensor couldn't scan fast enough to keep up with the line's timing requirements. It wasn't broken, it was simply too slow for high-speed operations. A $20 part nearly caused a catastrophe. And here's the unsettling truth. Factories across the world unknowingly rely on components that are almost good enough until the day they aren't. If this twist shocked you, hit the like button so this video reaches more people working on high-risk factory lines. The aftermath. How speed hides problems until they explode. Once the engineers identified the slow sensor, the investigation revealed something even more troubling. The system logs showed tiny timing errors appearing months earlier. But because the line wasn't running at full speed, those errors never caused issues. When demand increased, the system crossed a threshold where delay became disaster. The line didn't suddenly fail that day. It had been failing slowly for months, but nobody noticed. The shutdown resulted in thousands of units being scrapped and hours of production time lost. But the most alarming part was how silently the issue developed. High-speed systems don't allow time for human correction. Once something starts going wrong, it outruns human reaction time almost instantly. One supervisor described it perfectly. We didn't just lose control of the machine, we lost control of time. When machines outrun human limits, this incident exposed how vulnerable high-speed lines truly are. Operators can only respond at human speed, but machines operate at mechanical speed. By the time someone sees a minor jam, the system has already amplified it across multiple stations. The faster a factory runs, the more catastrophic even the smallest malfunction becomes. High-speed lines don't fail slowly. They fail instantly, violently, and without warning. That's why they're considered one of the most dangerous systems in any production environment. Not because they move fast, but because they fail fast. The industry lesson, small parts, big consequences. The company immediately banned low-spec sensors, recalibrated all timing systems, and added automated vision checks to detect latency issues long before humans can. Every part of their maintenance strategy was rewritten around one realization. Speed magnifies everything, good and bad. Factories fear big failures, but they should fear the small ones even more. A tiny defect that goes unnoticed at low speed becomes catastrophic when multiplied by thousands of cycles per minute. The slower the warning signs appear, the bigger the explosion when they finally matter. Conclusion When speed outpaces safety High-speed manufacturing is engineered efficiency, but it comes with a dangerous reality. The faster you push a system, the less margin you have for error. In this case, a cheap sensor couldn't keep up, timing collapsed, and a perfectly functioning line turned into a high-speed disaster. A fraction of a second, a small delay, a tiny shortcut, and suddenly, the entire production floor is staring at a pile of wasted product and a silent line. Next time someone says, let's push the line faster, remember this story. Speed is powerful, but only when everything else is built to handle it. If you want more deep dives into factory disasters and hidden engineering risks, make sure you subscribe. One click from you keeps this channel alive and growing.